Now is a very important time for people like you and me to grab this once in a decade opportunity to build wealth. Please listen carefully. The rationale behind this assertion is rooted in the notion that fortunes are often made during economic downturns. Contrary to its negative connotations, recessions are a regular feature of economic cycles, and, if managed astutely, they can provide extraordinary opportunities for securing one's financial future for their whole life. Take a look at this chart. You'll notice a very similar pattern. Every economic recession or stock market crash is followed by an even stronger recovery, doubling prices in a matter of just one to two years max. There are certain investment decisions that can help you build wealth even in this dire economic condition that we're in right now. This perspective is also echoed by investment mogul Warren Buffett, who famously said that bad news is an investor's best friend. Now, let's delve into the specifics of what is anticipated to transpire in the next three to six months, the advantageous prospects available today, and how to position oneself optimally to build generational wealth. To fully appreciate these upcoming opportunities, it is essential to first understand the economic landscape you'll be navigating. To begin, it is important to recognize that recessions typically entail a notable surge in unemployment, a reduction in wages, a decline in consumer confidence, and a depreciation in the values of various assets, including stocks, food, energy, and services. These effects can reverberate globally and often have long-lasting consequences. Moreover, during a recession, corporate earnings typically contract. Companies report reduced revenues and provide conservative forecasts, reflecting the heightened risk of economic downturns. Lately, many firms have been lowering their projections, preparing for sluggish or even negative growth, marking the highest level of recessionary risk in a decade. Consequently, layoffs become more prevalent as consumers with reduced incomes curtail their spending, prompting companies to trim their expenses. Unfortunately, employees are often the first casualties in this cost-cutting exercise. A cursory online search reveals that numerous companies are implementing mass layoffs. According to Bank of America, the United States is poised to lose approximately 175,000 jobs per month. So, how does this information translate into opportunities for investors and individuals seeking to capitalize on this economic landscape? Well, let's begin with stocks. At present, all three major stock market indices have declined by approximately 15 to 30 percent. Analysts, such as those at JP Morgan and Goldman Sachs, believe that there may be another 20 percent drop from current levels. However, historical data since 1946 shows that the average bear market decline has been close to 30%. The most severe case was in 2009, when the S&P 500 plummeted by a staggering 54% from its peak. When we combine these statistics with the onset of a recession, bear markets tend to perform even worse, with an average decline of 34%. Typically, the absolute bottom is reached when investors capitulate indicating that it might be an opportune moment to start anticipating a recovery and subsequent market rebound. Now, let's explore the potential earnings and opportunities in more detail. However, before delving into the specifics, let's address the second point, which concerns real estate. Real estate markets can vary significantly by region. And while some areas may continue to prosper, nationwide housing declines are relatively rare. Over the past six decades, there have only been a few instances where home prices experienced substantial drops exceeding 15%. Currently, the consensus among experts on Wall Street is that national housing prices may decline by 10%, with a worst-case scenario projecting a 10-25% to decline if interest rates continue to rise. However, it is important to emphasize that real estate markets are highly localized, and analytics suggest that the most vulnerable markets, such as parts of Florida, Arizona, Idaho, and Southern California, could witness declines of up to 30% from their peak, with the decline potentially lasting two years before stabilizing. In the broader context, these changes may not have a significant impact on homeowners with fixed-rate mortgages planning to stay in their properties for the next five to ten years. 
However, for those looking to invest or purchase property, this downturn could lead to attractive opportunities, which we will discuss shortly. But before that, let's move on to the third point, cash. Traditionally, many have viewed cash as a suboptimal asset, considering that it loses value to inflation over time. However, when other asset classes are experiencing a decline in value, cash can become a safe haven for wealth preservation. This shift in perception is exemplified by billionaire Ray Dalio's acknowledgement that cash is no longer considered quote-unquote trash. It is worth noting, by the way, that as recently as 2018, cash was the best performing asset class. Those who had saved their money in high-yield savings accounts outperformed the market. Cash is now gaining prominence in investment portfolios, with fund managers holding the highest levels of cash since 2001. Citigroup even suggests that cash can serve as a recessionary hedge for investors. Now, let's address why this upcoming recession could be a unique wealth-building opportunity. Starting with number one, everything becomes more affordable. While some may view economic downturns negatively, it's crucial to reframe this perspective. A falling market means that assets become more affordable. For example, when stocks decline by 35%, it essentially offers a 35% discount for those who can invest. Warren Buffett likened this to the idea that when hamburger prices drop, people celebrate. And the same should apply to other aspects of life, including stocks. Number two, reduced competition. During tough economic times, larger companies often play it safe, cut back on expenses, and may even fold. However, this creates an opportunity for smaller, more agile businesses to step in and make their mark. Studies have shown that companies that continue to advertise during recessions can increase their value and experience positive growth even after the recession ends. This highlights the potential for smaller companies to thrive when larger companies are scaling back. Number three, natural selection in the market. Analogously, the peak of a market cycle resembles a forest ecosystem. In this scenario, only the largest and most established companies, akin to tall, strong trees, access ample resources, or sunlight. Smaller entities at the bottom struggle to compete and grow. However, just like natural forest fires, economic downturns have a way of clearing out and bankrupting companies that can no longer sustain themselves. This creates openings for newer, smaller businesses to thrive. Number four, the bull market follows the bear. After every bear market comes a bull market. Historical data supports this cyclic pattern. During recessions, the S&P 500, for instance, has historically fallen by an average of around 30%, with a median drop of 25%. However, once stocks reach their lowest point, the subsequent year sees an average return of 42%, and within two years, the market typically rebounds by an average of 60%. This emphasizes that investing during the market decline can be more lucrative than withdrawing and waiting. Moreover, in the long term, the market has consistently recovered in all historical instances. And number five, acting ahead of confirmation. It's crucial to recognize that recessions are typically confirmed only well after they have begun. For example, the Great Recession of 2007-2008 wasn't officially declared until December of 2008, just a few months before its official end. The recession prior to that began in February of 2001, but it wasn't officially recognized until October of the same year. This delay in confirmation highlights the challenge of timing market moves precisely. Now, here's what you can do to capitalize on these opportunities. Starting with number one, scale back expenses. During economic uncertainty, it's prudent to tighten your financial belt. Track your spending, cut unnecessary expenses, and maintain a lean budget while reinvesting as much as possible into the market. Develop a plan to manage your finances in case your income drops significantly, ensuring that you have a buffer to rely on. Number two, hold cash. While it's statistically advantageous to invest your money promptly, maintaining a cash reserve can offer peace of mind and the flexibility to seize investment opportunities as they arise. 
having a portion of your portfolio in cash, typically around 15 to 20 percent, can be beneficial. Number three, protect your career. Your career is your best safeguard against financial challenges. Losing your job during a market downturn and having to sell investments at a low point can be a financial setback. Therefore, focus on enhancing your skills, learning new ones, and fortifying your career prospects. Number four, invest for the long term. Maintain a long term investment perspective. Continue with your regular investment strategy as if nothing unusual is happening. Dollar cost averaging, or regularly investing in the markets, has historically proven to be a profitable strategy. And number five, diversify your investments. Diversification is key to managing risk. If you're uncomfortable with a 20% portfolio drop, consider diversifying your holdings. Include a mix of assets like large cap stocks, international stocks, real estate, or income generating investments like rental properties. The more diversified your portfolio, the more resilient it will be if certain assets underperform. In conclusion, navigating a recession may not be easy, but with prudent financial management, a focus on long-term goals, and diversification, you can position yourself to take advantage of the opportunities that arise during economic downturns. Additionally, continuous personal and professional development can help secure your financial future, ensuring that you are prepared to weather any financial storms that may come your way.